How's it going everyone? So you probably guessed from the caption of this video, but today I'm going to be reviewing an app which is known as Moneybox. Now many of you in the UK would be aware of Moneybox, and that's because there was a big ad campaign and they actually released a video which I'm going to play for you now. Pineapple. Banana. So now that we've witnessed that Oscar performance video, I want to talk about what the money box is all about. So what happens is whenever you make a purchase, and in the example on screen here, if you spend £2.40, then the transaction that you spend will be rounded up. So the remainder, i.e. the 60 pence, will be stored into an account of your choosing where the money is invested. So the Moneybox app aims to target individuals that are interested in the idea of investing, but they don't want to have to actively invest. Now from the onset, I was very unimpressed by this type of model. And the reason I say that is because you are investing in such small figures Every time you make a purchase, whether it's a hundred pounds, a thousand pounds, it just rounds to the nearest pound. You can spend over a thousand pounds, but every time you are just spending that difference to the nearest pound. So this type of investment strategy requires you to make a lot of purchases, which just means you're making a lot of transactions. And so I disagree completely that the process of spending money is targeted in the form of investment. So given that this is all your money regardless, it simply rounds up the price. An easy alternative to not using Moneybox is to simply invest any money that you have. And for instance, Robo-advisors such as Nutmeg or even a Vanguard account could be a better alternative to that of Moneybox's approach. And then when I look into the fine print, so let's take the Stock and Shares ISA account for instance, if we scroll down all the way to the bottom, we can see that we have a fees section. So for the first three months, everything is free and it requires a deposit of £1 to open the Stocks and Shares ISA. But then you have to pay a platform fee. Now, the fee is 0.45% a year, but it's broken down into a monthly fee. And then equally, depending on the type of investment strategy you pick, you have to pay this provider cost, which again is broken and charged monthly, but it ranges from 0.12 to 0.3%. So given every time you spend, you are invest in a very small amount of money each time and it entices you to make more purchases, then paying a maximum of 0.75% is quite pointless in my opinion. And in addition, as your account grows in value, you're then having to give more money away. So to be completely transparent, I do not agree with any of the investment aspects of Moneybox. And so any of these investment sections, they have the account fees associated and I do not recommend them. But the reason why I'm making this video is because I signed up to the 95 day notice account and it's their one of two savings accounts. Now in the past, Moneybox offered a 1.65% savings account, but due to the coronavirus, that price decreased. Now, the figure is still competitive at 1.45%. But what I felt was that Moneybox was a nice way of having a set amount of money that maybe I want to touch in the near future, but I don't need it right at this moment in time. And so every year you will make 1.45%. It doesn't exactly match that of inflation, but these days it's so difficult to find a nice savings account with a percentage higher than say 1%. Now do keep in mind that hopefully once market conditions go back to normal, then we should see this percentage increase. Now that does depend on the Bank of England to increase their interest rates. So that may be a while yet. And nevertheless, 1.45% is still a nice number. So one of the potential downsides is that once you create an account and you select the 95 day notice savings account, then your money is trapped for 95 days. So if you want to withdraw the cash, you do have to wait slightly over three months before you have access. And so for individuals that need money at an instant, I do not recommend any of the services that Moneybox provides. But for those who do have some money laying on the side and I don't feel that they need to access that money within the next three months, then stick around because I'm about to show you what the app looks like. 
So I'm just opening up the Moneybox app on the left hand side and I'm just logging in. So this is what the account looks like. We can see that I only have the 95 day notice account. So when you sign up to the account, you have to connect an existing bank account. And what happens is whenever you add money, so if I click on the add symbol, whenever you deposit the amount of money that you wish to deposit, then a direct debit payment will be made and the money will be taken out of your standard building society. So after a few days, that money will be added to your pot. So if you click on the third tab on the account, you can see a summary of the total value and any interest earned as well. So in my case, over 12K within the 95 day notice account and close to 30 pounds earned since opening the account. So clicking on that tab, we can see an actual breakdown. Now in my case, we can see I actually have a 1.65% variable interest rate and that's just because when I signed up the rate was higher. Now what I hope Moneybox does for anyone who signs up with the 1.45% variable interest rate is that they will also increase the value. Now I'm not sure if they will so if anyone does sign up and you read online that other customers are getting a higher percentage then leave a comment in the app and try to pressure the company so that everyone has the highest value possible. So with the amount of money I have every day I earn around 55 pence and you can see that from the today's interest value and you can also see a notice so if you withdrew today you would receive your money by and then it's got the stamp date and all the previous deposits are listed right at the bottom there. So the app is very simple in nature and so we have the settings tab nothing too interesting there and then we have a discover app which this is actually the first time I've ever clicked on the discover some of this may be useful, We've got some marketing blogs, and then there are some cashback rewards as well. I haven't really looked into any of these, but let's just see what would happen. So we can see here 1.5% cashback reward if we shop at John Lewis. So some of these perks may be interesting for some of you out there. These are the types of companies that I can earn rewards with, but definitely look at the fine print just to make sure you are getting the deal that is listed here. So as I said earlier, I don't deal with any of these roundups. I generally just do one-off deposits and that is all triggered from the first tab here just by adding money. So for anyone out there who is struggling with standard high street banks and if the rates are too low for you, Moneybox does have a nice 1.45% for new customers. So feel free to download the app from the App Store if you're interested in a savings account. I definitely recommend other types of brokerage firms and investment platforms if you want to invest day to day. And my channel focus is primarily on the Trading212 account. So if anyone wishes to look at some of my other videos, then feel free to follow along. But hopefully that was helpful. And with that said, I'll catch you in the next one.